This video shows you how to mail merge a document using AVAPA. Using mail merging allows you to make letters addressed to different users with the same template or layout. This video is meant as a simple guide to get you started, using the steps setting up a template using Microsoft Word, selecting the users to whom you wish to send the mail merge letter, importing the new template, matching your merging fields with those in AVAPA, and finally, merging the document. OK, so the first step is setting up a template using Microsoft Word. So we're going to open Microsoft Word 2010. Now you can either create a new mail merge template or use an existing document. If your document already exists, click File, Open and then navigate to your file. Otherwise, just open a blank document like we've got here. Now the next step is clicking File, Save As, and then in the Save As Type drop down box, you need to select Word Template. Now this will normally send you to a template folder and if you don't want to save it in the template folder then you just navigate back to where you want to save it. So in this case we're going to save it into the desktop. Uh, it is recommended if you're in a network or cloud environment saving the template in a shared network location somewhere others can find it in case they need it. So anyway we're going to give this a name and then we're going to save it. Now you will need to add a bookmark for each item you wish to merge. This will tell AVAPA where to insert bits of data. Uh, examples of this would be the recipient's first name, uh, the recipient's last name and the address of their house for example. Now for this you need to allow bookmarks in Word. So you need to go to File and then, then go down to Options and then if you click Advanced on the left and then if you scroll down to where it says Show Document Content you need to check the box next to show bookmarks now it doesn't automatically check this box in Word so you will have to go in and do this now if you want to add a date that updates according to the day that you are on uh, you need to scroll down and you, t you need to also make sure this box is ticked uh, next to allow fields containing tracked changes to update before printing so if you put a date at the top of your letter and then you print it it will display the date according to the day that you're on now I'm going to structure a letter. So I'm just going to show you an example of the date function and how you do that. So if you highlight that and then go into insert and then this symbol here uh, which is called insert date and time just click on that and then select the format for your date under the available formats column. Now you need to make sure this box is ticked. It says or update automatically and if it's not then your date won't update okay so that's our date and you can see that it's now in a box so it's, it's in a format box so we're going to now continue with our structuring right so this is the first bookmark we're going to add now you, you, know, you need to hold down control shift and then F5 to bring up the bookmark window and in the top you need to type first name uh, according to the bookmark you want to create and then you need to click add. Now the next thing in the letter we might want to add is an address. Uh, so we're going to type home address if we want to send it to everyone's home addresses. Then we're going to highlight that, uh, hold down control shift F5 again and then type in address. Again according to uh, what you typed in here then we're going to write the body of our message so we are writing to you sincerely so that's just a crude example but we now have our template so if we click file save again one important note you need to make sure that when you convert some text into a bookmark you have only highlighted the word you want to convert as it is easy to accidentally highlight for example first name and address on the next line and this will result in both lines being converted into one single bookmark which you don't want of course okay so the next step is selecting the users to whom you wish to send the mail merge letter open up AVAPA and on the main menu click list everyone 
this will come up with a list of all the employees so what you do is you just hold down control and you just select the employees that you want to send the mail merge letter to and then you go into file and then print and then mail shot now a window may pop up asking you to set the address so just select the relevant tab and click OK and because we want home address we're going to just make sure it stays on home and then we're going to click the select entry button now the next step is importing the template so to locate your new template so OVAPA can use it click the add new template button shown on the bottom of the window and it's actually got a word symbol on it so it makes it easier to find so we're going to go into desktop and we're already on the desktop so we're going to click example one and then open now the final step is merging your fields with those in AVAPA so here you will see a two column list document bookmarks and fields in AVAPA the document bookmarks list shows all of the bookmarks you set up in your mail merge template the fields in the AVAPA column lists all the different fields of data AVAPA can use to fill the bookmark now you need to match up the data types so in the left column just select first name and then in the right column select first name and then you're going to click this left arrow left green arrow labeled add link so that adds that for you and then in the address you need to scroll down and you need to find the field that applies so we found it here it's home address one and then we're going to click add link and that's updated that for you so once you are happy all the data typed is properly matched up click the save button at the bottom left so that's saved now you have a few options you can either just go ahead and click print which is this button here or you can preview the documents so let's just preview it and just see some examples of how it works now this is Bartholomew Winston Tester's letter that we're sending to him and as you can see the dates there and that will update according to the date that you want and his name his first names here and his address is here okay so now you know how to use mail merging in AVAPA in conjunction with Microsoft Word 2010 to summarize this page allows you to set up a template letter from which AVAPA will input data from the users you select you can then preview and make potential changes to suit you or click print and start sending out your letters.